So the problem with uh, with the leak repair in this area was that the water was gushing from a joint of the rings. Uh, as you can see, all around, all along the perimeter of the joint, there was uh, injection of polyflex. Uh, the other problem uh, in waterproofing the ring was that there were many bolts, as you can see on either side of the ring, that were also springing a leak. Um, this material is uh, uh, roughly two years old at this point right now. Uh, there is no evidence of any kind of uh, leaks and there were many before and the adhesion of the material to the concrete polyflex remained uh, the same. Uh, right where my flashlight is pointing is the injection points. As you can see they were cut to a smooth surface. Right there there is another one and then there is another one and there are a few on there is another one and there is another one and few down below during the injection of uh, this gap uh, we noticed that a lot of material was getting pumped uh, into the gap uh, more than it was supposed to uh, reason being that there was uh, quite a large void probably at around 11 o'clock uh, in the application and we started to notice that all of the bolts on either side of, uh, of the ring, going as far back as my flashlight is pointing, um, were uh, leaking water and then after that uh, polyflex started to come out, meaning that all of the voids were uh, completely filled with polyflex uh, in the course of doing that. Uh, this is the closest bolt that I can show you. And you can see that all around the bolt, there is a lot of uh, rubberized type material that came out. This is actually polyflex that went through the gap and out of the bolt. Same thing happened on a couple of bolts uh, down on the other side. Um, the, um, the feel of the material, as you can see, it's very glossy. It's nothing more than uh, a silicon type of uh, finish. It's completely transparent. Uh, the reason for yellow color in the middle is because that was the uh, leak stopper that was put in during the injection. So the strip itself gave the color. You can see there is an injection nozzle uh, just uh, in front of you. And on the other side, uh, the gap was significantly larger, uh, therefore was leaking more. And you can see that there is a lot of rubberized type material all around uh, of the gap. So that's the gist of it. This is what the ring typically looks like before the application. Um, in itself, the leak is not so bad, uh, although leak is a leak. Uh, but the problem with that is that the concrete goes through accelerated rate of degradation uh, if uh, the leak stopper is not put in place. So the main purpose of doing that is to keep the edges of the surface nice and dry so they last a lot longer.